All right, so our next award tonight, Labor Leader of the Year. Well, we all know Democrats and Labor go hand in hand, right? No mistake in that. Now, Michelle Gilliam She's the Director of Campaigns and Elections for the Transportation Workers Union Local 100, the largest union with almost 40,000 members. Wait, wait, Young Democrats, TWU, let's hear it! She is a member of the NAACP, the Coalition of Black Trade Unionists, and she's from the Young Dem chapter from Queens. <laughs> Labor Leader of the Year Award, Michelle Gilliam. Thank you, everybody. Is Labor in the house? Are friends of Labor in the house? Thank you. Thank you, New York State Young Democrats. Thank, special thank you to my Queens family, QCYD, my friends, my organizing people. Thank you so much. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a Queens girl and I'm a Labor girl. So I have to, uh, I, I, I have to thank, um, show special thanks to you guys. But um, I hate to um, take this night into a um, solemn, to make this more solemn than it should be. But I am, this past Wednesday, a uh, MTA conductor was murdered after her, after she, after she came home from work. And I was saddened to learn that we lost one of our members, one of our TWU members. But I was even more heartbroken to learn that it was Jacqueline Dix who was the aunt of my niece and my oldest nephew, Daquan. So if we could please uh, give a moment of silence for uh, Jackie. Thank you. I mention this because Jackie was killed by her ex-boyfriend, the father of her, the youngest of her six children. And this tragedy to me represents a cross-section of the challenges the workers in New York City, in the state, members of my union face every day. You see, let me take it back for a second. TWU Local 100 represents 42,000 transit workers in New York City, Westchester County. They're bus operators, station agents, conductors, train operators, paratransit workers, cleaners of the subways and the stations, track workers. It's thankless work. They're disrespected on the job daily, if not hourly. And often it's dangerous and it's deadly. See, Jackie may have been a victim of domestic violence. She may have been a victim of gun violence, but understand that she was killed in her uniform feet away from her house. So when I tell you that our issues are intersectional, so is the work is the organizing work that we have to do. So I tell you guys as a member of the trade unit that labor and community, we can we, we're not two different entities. We have to be one in each other, especially now more than ever. So this award here, I ask you if you guys take anything away from what I said. We need to start working together more than we are doing now. And I thank you guys for supporting me and supporting my union. Um, Tom DiMapoli is a big friend of my union. And thank you, special shout out to you. But we need more Tom DiMapoli, okay? He needs to be cloned. And I want to, um, again, just say that 
I will always be supportive of community because at the end of the day, I love my members when they're on the job and I am always, always trying to advocate for their lives off the job as well. So this is for Jackie, this is for William Pena, and for the too many workers who have lost their lives off the job, on the job. Thank you all for supporting trade unions. Much love and respect for all y'all. Thank you.